the next video is to show how you can print multiple items using Skyforge we go to craft multiply columns and rows if we want four wheels for example we'll print two columns two rows save all load the file that we want to load go through the process but it will do it this time four wheels four times minimize that. To make sure that we have the correct orientation of the wheels we can change the layer. This is the very first layer and the four wheels. If we want to step through it individually one at a time we can. So doing this wheel first although it started up here just briefly see the direction of it going around the wheel it's laying the first layer if we want to speed it up to see it layer by layer <coughs> we can do Is the hub section and that's it so we know that that's working so the file now is saved and in 2059 G code and it will save it in the same place we've just found it so we close it down G open this brings in the G code 2059 and we can see here we've got M13 again as I say, there is a fix for this to stop you doing it and delete it. If you tried running it with M13, 113 rather, Replica AG doesn't like it. Save that to get rid of that so the next time we load it, we're away. Because it's not connected to the computer at the moment, we have this error come up. But as it's shown in the other videos, when you connect it, click on this button and that will build it. And that's all there is to it. Rows and columns under craft under Skyforge.